Hi, my name is Colleen Pratt and I teach sixth grade at Del Mar Hills and this year we had the experience of working with Sarah Raskin for a design challenge and the children had the opportunity to learn about the human body and climate change and their task at the end or do the design thinking that we did the project was um, to redesign the human body to deal with the effects of climate change. Um, I've been teaching the human body for probably five or six years now, between fifth and sixth grade, and it was pretty traditional. We did some really fun activities, but I have noticed such a change in the children and their questioning and their thinking due to the design process. Um, the fact that they went through it, they took ownership for what they had, and now I see their learning and their thinking abilities carrying over into all of the different subject matters that we're working on. Um, their ability to question and think and try to find out their own answers is far more than I've ever seen in any of the previous years. Hi, and I'm Chelsea Moore, and I teach alongside um, Colleen Pratt in sixth grade at Delmar Hills. And I think the power of d the design thinking process is exactly what um, Mrs. Pratt said, how, we're, how our children are now thinking and connecting that to all academic disciplines. Design thinking isn't about an end project or an end result, it's about um, how you go about thinking and being curious and we want this kind of thought process for children to use when they encounter anything in life and that they can go back to this oh i remember when i ideated and then i prototyped and then i had to redesign or i see i went and sought out an expert that's the kind of thinking and having the kids reflect and think about their thinking was really meaningful and powerful in the way we want them to go about conducting life it was very exciting for the children. They were very um, thoughtful with their questions. They took it very seriously and it made it real to them. You know, there are people in the world who are working on climate change. There are people in the world who are doctors who learn about the human body. So it brought the real world connection into what we were doing and a sense of urgency right. for them to learn and um, be professional speaking with the experts. So, so I think that they're really realizing that um, knowledge and and ideas and concepts are just at their fingertips. They just have to know how to navigate to get to it. And, and the thinking is changing in the fact that it's not just inputting knowledge into your brain and information into your brain all the time. It's what you do with that information because they can call an expert and ask a question and then what are they gonna do with that the information that they have is really the most powerful piece.